What's up Wii Teamers, Sal here, and in today's video we're taking a look at the Red Dragon Taipan Pro, a reasonably priced wireless gaming mouse, and why I think if you're looking for an affordable gaming mouse, this little guy should definitely be on your radar. Red Dragon is known for making fairly priced gaming accessories which can either be a hit or a miss. Just for reference, the Adante gaming speaker which looks premium and has bass, something Red Dragon speakers haven't had in the past, but unfortunately the bass isn't as good as it could be. Or the Zeus 2 gaming headset which was surprisingly not bad. And the many Red Dragon keyboards. Red Dragon keyboards, something I have a good amount of experience with and well, they get the job done. Just a warning, that's gonna be an ongoing theme in my Red Dragon videos, they get the job done. Red Dragon Taipan Pro is no different from other Red Dragon products. It gets the job done. See, I told you, I did warn you, didn't I? The Taipan Pro nails the simple gaming mouse, the futuristic spaceship look, the aerodynamic curves, the sleek lines, and what is a gaming mouse without a little RGB? For the most part, the mouse is overall lightweight with most of the weight being in the back. And it's designed just for right-handed players. Sorry, left-handed players, Red Dragon doesn't care about you. I'm kidding, but seriously, is this something that's ignored in the gaming world? Will you shut the hell up, dogs? The plastic feels a little hollow and lightweight, but at the same time, pretty solid. There is a raised pattern on both sides for added grip, which I did find the reduced slip and the smooth rubber pads underneath made the mouse feel like it was hovering just slightly above my mouse pad. The top part of the mouse is a material pretty similar to a touchpad on a laptop. And oh my god! Does it collect a ton of fingerprints and scratches? Just look at the left and the right buttons. There is a warm spot. A warm spot. <laughs> there is a warm spot. Wait, what does it say? There is a warm spot only after a few days of use, which is pretty similar to the touchpad on my Alienware laptop. Lastly, the buttons feel pretty good. They have a tactile sound, but each opposite button has just a slightly different sound and feels like it helps reduce reduce any confusion of what buttons were being pressed. The Taipan Pro has all the basic buttons you have become accustomed to. Left click, right click, scroll wheel, middle click, forward button, back button, DPI up, DPI down. There is one more button at the top of the mouse and that is the fire button which we will get into during gameplay. On the bottom of the mouse there is a power switch which can be set to off on an eco which is on without the extra RGB to save power. There is also a working mode button at the bottom of the mouse which can set the polling rate to either 125 hertz or a thousand hertz. The Taipan Pro isn't a Bluetooth mouse, so it comes with a wireless USB dongle. Red Dragon has also included a bright, a brighted, a f Braided. Red Dragon has also included a braided Type-C USB cable, which is for more than just charging, allowing you to tuck the USB dongle into the mouse and use the mouse via a wired connection. Every so often, Red Dragon includes software. Now, whether that software works or not, that is either a hit or a miss. On the main tab of the software, you can reprogram the buttons. For the most part, I left everything alone except for the one button, the fire button. In game, the fire button, well, it fires your weapon, but so does the left button on the mouse, which is located right near the fire button, so that's kind of pointless. In software, if you click the number assigned to that button, you can click the drop down menu. In key settings, you can select a pre-programmed function or like I did, choose macro, but you will need to create a macro in order for this to work. I created a single macro for Doom F, which is the melee or glory kill, and it's much easier than having to click F on the keyboard. 
You can also set the polling rate on this screen as well. Last thing in the main section is battery life. And I don't know how accurate it is. According to Red Dragon, while using the Taipan Pro wirelessly, it'll last about eight hours in eco mode and about two hours while all the LEDs are on. Now I did not test this. I'm planning on maybe setting aside eight hours to play games for eight hours and see if the battery lasts. If you're interested in seeing that, you can check out the Weedeam Gaming Community Facebook Facebook group, I'll post an update video there. In the advanced tab, you can change the DPI settings, mouse sensitivity, scrolling speed, and double click speed, which I didn't see much of a difference when I changed the setting. The macro tech. Damn it, why is so f close? Look at you close. Up in this camera. So f close. You see me now? The macro tab is where, well, you can set macros for each of the buttons on the mouse. Okay, so here's where we finally find a flaw, which with Red Dragon software, there's always at least one. According to the manual, you can change the RGB on the logo and the LEDs on the side. Aw, Red Dragon, your software just made you a liar. It's okay. I still love you. We all make mistakes. The software only allows you to change the LED effects, which means you can't change the RGB on the logo without changing all the LEDs except for the scroll wheel. Nothing else matters unless your gaming mouse, well, can game. I want to be completely transparent here and let you know that I don't really have any experience with high-end gaming mouses, so... Gaming mouses. You mean mice. Mice! So I might be taking it easy on Red Dragon. However, honestly, I thought it did a pretty good job for a $33 gaming mouse once you get the settings to match your style of gameplay and it glides effortlessly on my Red Dragon RGB mouse pad. See what I did there, Red Dragon? They aren't sponsoring, but they did send this mouse over for purposes of review, so I'm feeling kind of generous. And I thought, why not throw in another product? Now the ability to reprogram the fire button comes in handy. It puts a keyboard keystroke on the mouse within reach of your left click finger and allows your left hand to focus on direction. Although, there is another flaw I noticed during gameplay. When you try to change the DPI settings, it minimizes the game you're in. Okay, Red Dragon, thanks to your software, now I'm a liar. So what's the final word? At this price point, I can definitely recommend the Red Dragon Taipan Pro Wireless Gaming Mouse, and mostly because it gets the job done. Okay, all jokes aside, it has really good tracking. I guess the software is okay, and the buttons, they're not that bad either. If there's anything else that you're curious about, something you think I might have left out, don't hesitate to ask below. And if you're interested in picking up the Red Dragon Taipan Pro, there will be a link down below. Check out the Weedeam Gaming Community Facebook for exclusive unboxings, DIY projects, and to share what gaming accessories you're picking up via the link down below. As for now, I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, instead of staring at my ugly mug, why don't you go ahead and check out one of our other videos? One, two, I'll wait. My busted face ain't going nowhere.